Welcome back. This is lesson five of your start with OBS Ninja. I'm Chris and there's Steve. Hi guys. Steve in Canada, Chris in Germany. So um, yeah, we have um, already given you four other lessons about the concepts behind OBS Ninja and how you can trans transport video and audio from one browser to the other anywhere in the world quickly, low latency. High quality and high quality, by the way, not just the video, the audio. Um, I'm a I'm a podcaster of like 15 years, and audio is really, really, really important for me. So, uh, being able to pull uh, an audio stream from someone at a at studio quality is just mind boggling, and it's really awesome if you want to even just do audio recordings. Um, so, today I want to show you a concept that blew my mind when I found out about it first. And I see a lot of people um, in, in the Discord. There's there's like a whole, like, a, a, there's a GitHub and there's a Discord where people talk about OBS Ninja and have questions and so on. And uh, I see people's minds blown when they figure out this concept. And it is that you can just pull multiple different video or audio streams from the same source at the same time. <laughs> yeah. So it's a change from RTMP for sure. I, I mean, what, okay, what does that mean? Okay, um, let me let me show you. So we have um, uh, an OBS Ninja stream going. Steve in Canada is the ID, and I am pulling you in. So um, yeah, there you go. In this big browser window here, you can see Steve, and um, this is a video stream and an audio stream. So far, so good. Now, by default, the audio comes out to whichever output device I've set up for the system. That's what Google outputs to. So in that case, that would be my speakers and my main audio device. But if I want that to go somewhere else, I have choice. And uh, the choice is by using Electron. Just three words about what is Electron. Tell me. Steve. Oh. Uh <laughs> The electron Sorry for capture putting app was, um, was uh, a solution to uh, the, the lack of proper OBS support for Mac, uh, browser support within yeah. OBS is a little bit lacking. Um, this is a, a little bit is putting it mildly. There is no real browser support in OBS on Mac for uh, for. Uh, for uh, for for OBS Ninja, so um, yeah. So the Electron app is kind of a yeah a, a way to let Mac users uh, capture video using a browser that's clean and as easy as I could think of uh -huh. uh, until at least OBS fixes uh, the issues, which they hopefully will soon. I'll open some champagne if they do. So, the, okay, the Electron app, this is a concept that you will come across more often in the future. Um, and it comes in two flavors. And I think that's important to, to show you here. The first flavor is um, as its own full blown app. And we'll look in this later, but there's also the Electron browser version, I would call it. And um, let me show that to you because it, really helps if we show this to you and what it does. So let me open it. It's obs.ninja slash electron. And uh, you get this wonderful looking screen with a big input box in the middle and some check boxes and an audio output destination selector. This is where the magic is. So let me paste in to here and I'm just deleting everything. I'll paste in the same uh, view equals Steve in Canada URL. So um, we want to open that, but I want the audio from that thing to go to a different audio device. Now, the way I set up my Mac is that I have a I have Loopback running, which is a virtual audio device creator. There's free ones. There's Black uh, Black Hole. I think there's still Soundflower out there, but. Um, I have a whole bunch of audio output devices. And let me just say, I want this to go to my virtual device SL1. 
And it does something here to the parameters. We don't really have to go into too much detail about it. It adds a sync equals and then a very long hex number, um, which is kind of an identifier for that audio output. Um, and then I click Go. And again, I will see Steve's stream, the one that he shared to me earlier. But now the audio will go out to my virtual device, to SL1. And this way, I can capture his audio somewhere else. So. So far, so good. Um, now, let me add a second stream, because that's what we want to talk about. We want to talk about pulling multiple streams from the same uh, browser. And let's say I'm pulling this uh, SL1 virtual device audio thing and Steve for, I don't know, some recording somewhere. It doesn't even have to be OBS, can be anywhere. But then in addition, because I'm recording my um, high audio quality podcast, I want to pull an additional stream just for my podcast recording. And this is where I could, for example, use here. The Electron app, that's the app. It's just a window, pretty much. And what I want to do is I want to pull the exact same thing, view equals Stephen Canada. I will, yeah, now let me move this right over your face. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Um, let me pull this one into SL2. And now um, I want to add in a little additional parameter. We already talked about the video bitrate parameter. But I want this to be really good audio. So I am going to add the audio bit rate parameter equals, well, let's do 256. And if I start that, it will now pull an additional stream, an additional audio stream over to, there we go, over to this app, which is, by the way, also like a, a, a frameless window. So if you're on another system and you want to screen grab this one, that's a good way to do it because it is frameless and it is you can set it to be always on top and so on. We'll do an ent entire episode about this. Uh, if I don't need his video on that one, because I'm now pulling two video streams and two audio streams, um, I'll just add another parameter. So there is my audio bit rate equals 256 and no video and i'll direct this again to my sl2 device and now it's pulling audio and not video so i i can mix and match my different streams let me get this out of the way so we can see steve again here we go i can mix and match streams i can mix and match where I pull things, into which direction. I can have several different video feeds from the same stream. I can have of several different video streams from the same browser, seven different audio streams uh, to send them to different destinations. And it's all pretty much limited by what the sending system can do networking-wise, encoding-wise, and what the entire throughput gives you. That, does that cover it? Does that right. did I miss anything important? Um, I, I don't think so. You can have multiple electron windows open, um, and uh, yeah, uh, it, so it, it, it does have some use on Windows as well, because um, uh, OBS on Windows still isn't necessarily as uh, good as the Electron Capture app with capturing certain videos, so. Uh, Windows users might still find it useful. So we'll do an entire episode just about the Electron Capture app. Um, but I think the important concept is you can pull more than one stream from the same source. And that gives you flexibility and that gives you, that opens up the whole world uh, in so many different ways. I mean, the, as an example, and we'll do a use case episode about that, I do a podcast with three guests. So there's four of us talking and we use a room and we talk to each other. But at the same time, I pull high quality audio from each of them for a separate recording. So um, it opens up so many possibilities as a production tool. And I hope we gave you a bit of a glimpse on how good it is. So. That's it. Episode five. We'll be back with another one.